12 months out of the year, but our pay each month is lower. Yesterday, we sat down with a bus driver who told us about the numerous bus routes the OSD is giving him each day because of a lack of bus drivers, thus causing students to miss hours of class. Good morning, Capital. I'm Oscar Bacon. Today, we delve into the pay that bus drivers receive in the OSD, which drivers say is contributing to students missing class. And we tell you how you can have a say in choosing an official ice cream flavor that represents Capital High School. Today, we continue the conversation about our bus drivers, specifically about their pay, which they say is leading to a lack of drivers and students being late to class multiple times this week, including on testing days. Carly Cockrell takes a closer look. Yesterday, we covered the issue of school buses being consistently late each morning, decreasing instructional time for students. One bus driver cited low wages and an inadequate amount of drivers as the main reason for this problem. So, how much are these drivers being paid? At a board meeting in February, bus driver Lisa Hall stated that she works from 6 a.m. to 5 p.m., but is only guaranteed pay for four and a half of those 11 working hours, meaning that her take-home pay amounts to only around $1,200 monthly. These drivers are making $13 an hour after deductions. So we are hourly, but we prorate for 12 months. Yeah, but we do get paid 12 months out of the year, but our pay each month is lowered so it can be spread across 12 months. To put this into perspective, Amazon pays its drivers $25, Uber pays $27, and UPS $35. Additionally, bus drivers are required to obtain special certifications, such as CPR and first aid training, a commercial driver's license, and must complete a six-day driver instructor training course, so they are all very qualified for these jobs. Um, however, we are certificated drivers, so we go through intensive training and and uh, we have to get a commercial driver's license, um, which costs money. Clearly, these wages are not enough for employees to make driving school buses a career. And if the Olympia School District doesn't solve this problem soon, it will lead to more issues surrounding students' learning in their morning classes. Students should not be missing out on their education because they can't get to school on time, as this is an issue they have absolutely no control over. Reporting for Coog TV, I'm Carly Cockrell. Thanks, Carly. We want to hear from more bus drivers about their experiences here in the OSD. Hopefully we can share their stories in a future broadcast. Turning to lighter news this morning, a local ice cream food truck, Sweet Lee's, has partnered with Capital's marketing program to try and find an official flavor to represent our school. Here's Rainier Ottavelli with our report. Capital may soon be getting its own ice cream flavor. Thanks to a collaboration between the Capital Marketing Class and Sweet Lee's Ice Cream, a cougar-themed flavor will soon be available to purchase from the gourmet ice cream truck. The flavor and name of this new ice cream are already an exciting topic of discussion, so we asked some students to share their opinions. The flavors under consideration are Cougar Cherry Chip, Cougar Caramel Coffee, and Cardinalin Gold. I'm going to have to go with the coffee one, the one in the middle. That one sounds good. Okay. Sounds tasty. You're welcome. The chocolatey one, <laughs> because it's chocolate. <laughs> the coffee one. I love coffee. Okay. It's great. Uh, the cherry one, because strawberry sucks. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You can make your opinion count based on the descriptions of each flavor by taking this survey on our Instagram and Twitter. Soon you will be able to purchase this new flavor from Sweetly's and enjoy the taste of capital. Thank you, Rainier Ottavelli, for the report. Remember to check out the poll on our story on Instagram or in the link on our Twitter. Now here's Charlie with What's Good to Know. Audition for the Capital Talent Show today during Coop Time and F2. This year's show will have audience interaction and a panel of judges. Come be a part of the fun. Again, auditions are today during coop time. Seniors, drop in at any time during the period. Dance tryouts are next week. Applications are due today at 4 p.m. Scan the QR code around the school for the online application. There is a senior class meeting from 1040 to 1105 in the Performing Arts Center. Don't miss out. The GLSEN Day of Silence is today. It's a national student-led demonstration where LGBTQ students and allies take a vow of silence to protest the harmful effects of harassment and discrimination of LGBTQ people. The map reading test will be on April 26 at 8.55 a.m. This test will show how much growth you've made in reading from fall to spring. The test is for any students in grades 9, 10, or 11 who have not taken and passed one semester of IB English. Rosters are posted outside the Counseling Center. We'll have a special schedule for testing, with the test running from 8.55 to 10.50 a.m. Buses will be on a normal schedule. 
Students who aren't testing are still arriving at 8.55 a.m. and have a quiet study time in their first period class. If you have any questions about testing, please see Ms. I in C1 or Ms. Williams in the main office. There is still time to join the college rep visit today during second lunch. Northern Arizona University will have a rep in the CCRC to share with you about their college and what it has to offer. Stop by to see if this college would be a good fit for you. Finally, lunch today is a pulled pork sandwich, coleslaw, and your choice of fresh fruit. And that's what's good to know. Thanks, Charlie. Well, that's all for today's broadcast. Make it a good morning, Capital. Thank you for watching Coog TV. Next, the Pledge of Allegiance. You may now stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.